if America's Next Top Model and Punked had a baby? Well, me and my friend Ashton Kutcher have the show for you. It's premiering tonight on ABC. It's called True Beauty. Check it out. On my new TV show, True Beauty, we found 10 people who are completely obsessed with their look. I think I'm hot. This is a celebrity face. I am a proud, sexy black man. They thought they were going to be a part of a competition to find America's most beautiful. I have a very, very good chance of winning this show. The winner gets $100,000 and a featured star spot in People Magazine's 100 Most Beautiful People issue. But there was something about this competition they did not know. There's more to this competition than meets the eye. Huh? Using hidden cameras and secret challenges, we're also testing their inner beauty as well. The contestants' every move is studied and critiqued by our panel of judges, Vanessa Manillo, Cheryl Teagues, and Nole Marin. You guys ready to shake things up a bit? Oh, yeah. yeah. Watch how the contestants react to the undercover challenges. Ooh, you're getting, you really are getting mad. I just don't like you. And each week, one contestant is eliminated. And in the end, the winner will be the contestant who has the perfect combination of outer and inner beauty that will make them America's true beauty. We're going to talk to Mr. Ashton Kutcher a little later. But first, producing True Beauty inspired me to do our very own Tyra Show social experiment. Y'all know we love a social experiment where we're tricking somebody. Not. Well, it inspired us to do our own, and we put some unsuspecting hotties to the test. Check these people out. We recruited four contestants who all thought they were finalists for the title of Tyra's Ultimate Hottie. I'm a 10 out of 10. I think I'm the best looking guy on this planet. I wouldn't be able to point out a flaw of myself. I'm a beautiful person, and I only want to be seen with beautiful people. I'm God's gift to women. You know, I've heard that many times. We brought the contestants to a Manhattan photo studio for what we told them was a final consultation with our creative team and a sexy winter wonderland photo shoot. We told them the winner would be chosen the next day by our in-studio audience. The contestants knew we had a roaming camera crew taping some of the time. But what they did not know is that we rigged the photo studio with hidden cameras and microphones that could see and hear everything. We cast actors and Tyra Show staff members to play our creative team. And then my producers settled into their secret spy room to watch all the action. I'm gonna bring out our Tyra's ultimate hottie contestants now, but remember, they still have no idea that just like on my show, True Beauty, that this whole experiment that they did is a hoax, okay? They think they're being judged on their outer beauty and how fine they are, but they don't know that we judging them on their insides, too. Okay, so well, let's welcome our finalists for Tyra's ultimate hottie, Melissa, Daniel, Miles, and Shani. Come on now. Here. I'm gonna start with you. Yeah. Um, why do you feel that you should be named the Tyra Show Ultimate Hottie? Because I'm perfect. I have the swag, I have the look, and the personality all in one. Okay. And Tell me about the two sets of friends that you have. You have two sets of friends. Yeah, I have one set that I go out with because we're gorgeous together, and the other set is the people that I just stay at home with. Why they're... do you stay at home with them? <laughs> because we what? They're they're not cute enough. <laughs> Basically. They're not cute enough. No. Okay, Miles. <laughs> so tell me how you rate uh, t on this uh, Tyrus hottie, sh hottie, sh uh, hottie scale. I'm the perfect ten. What okay. Do you mean? <laughs> You're perfect ten. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so you, I, I hear that older women and gay guys look at you too. Everybody looks at me. Everybody. All ages. Okay, and <laughs> Melissa. Melissa, I understand that uh, you're the ultimate hottie because why? I am the ultimate hottie because my mama tells me I'm a Latina beauty with a big booty. Latina <laughs> booty with a big yeah. booty. Okay. <laughs> 
And um, so I understand girls don't like you. Yeah, girls really don't like me, and I think it's first impressions. But um, like the other day, I went to an open call, and I open see this. Open call for what? It was an open call for a Budweiser commercial in Chicago. Okay. And I see this girl a lot, and we don't get along. And she comes up to me, and she's like, you know, you're overweight, and you're not a model. You should be skinnier. So I slapped her, spit where she stood, and I put her in her place. Because you can't let people treat you like that. You got to stand up for yourself. Her? Yeah, she got to stand up for herself. That? And then you spit on her? Where she stood. Where she stood. <laughs> yeah. okay. okay. So, Daniel, what do you have that your competitors do not have um, here today? I think I just have the look. I mean, I'm the top ten. You're the Everywhere top ten. Everywhere I go, people stare at me. Boyfriends okay. get mad because their girlfriends stare at me. Okay. Um, it's a hassle, you know? It's hard being me. It's a hassle. Okay. Now, tell me about a woman... You say a woman has to have good credit that you um, date. She has to have good credit because I like to be, I like the finer things in, in life. You know, I like to be wine and dine myself. Um, okay. <laughs> I'm saying I like to be wine and dine. Man. I thought you I were mean, saying that you wanted a woman with good credit because she could, she's responsible. It's responsible she's too, oh responsible yeah. Responsible for I'm you. Responsible, uh, S plus and plus responsible for me. Our contestants had to do a Winter Wonderland themed photo shoot. But before that, they each interviewed with our creative director and one of the producers as part of the judging process. But what y'all didn't know that, is that there were hidden cameras it. everywhere, capturing everything crazy. that you did and That's everything crazy. that you said. No, you did not know it because y'all was showing y'all ass. <laughs> Check this out. <laughs> We wanted to see how far the contestants would go to win. And that's exactly what the hidden cameras showed us. First, they got into the sexy winter wonderland outfits they brought with them and sat down with our creative team. Then we brought in a makeup artist to give them what we called a cutting edge look. The makeup was definitely different, but they were fine with it. I do like it. Do you like it? I love it. I think it's different. Even Melissa did a complete 180. Earlier, she insisted on doing her own makeup. You like to do your own makeup? I like to do my own makeup. But five minutes later, she sure seemed happy. Yeah. <laughs> and when Miles thought he'd missed his chance to get an edgier look, he was mad. I'm pissed they didn't give me any makeup. What the hell? So we made sure to give him a turn in the makeup chair. <laughs> then our creative team asked each contestant what they thought of their competition. Their answers and their attitude was very clear. There is no competition in the waiting room. The competition's in here. Daniel went right at Melissa. I think she looks like a man. I mean, she's like, she just has manly features. And Shanee didn't seem to like her either. Her? Yeah, she was too much. She's not competitive at all. She doesn't have that in her. I don't see it in her. But that didn't bother Melissa. I, I heard her. I, I heard her make her market like a stripper. But I already got her back, though, because she said to me, she's like, do you have any oil for my shoots? And I was like, oh, I have it. But it's a competition, and I put it away. Right. So. Right. And Miles also took a shot at Melissa. That girl talks to me. I'll be like, yo, talk to me after you lose 20 pounds. And Shani. You have no t and your face is up. That's your biggest problem. And Daniel. You're not that hot, man. I'm way hotter. I have a better look than you. I have more looks than you. Better looks. My face is better looking. My body's better. So welcome to planet Earth. They all seem to think that the best way to build themselves up was by tearing everyone else down. She had bug eyes. <laughs> I could break down the voice too if you want. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> okay. So, Miles, what was up with you talking about Melissa's weight? Melissa's curvy and pre pretty body. This is the ultimate. This is the ultimate ten competition. And you weren't feeling it. Okay, well, Melissa, what do you have to say about that? I've been saying that to you. Um, I really don't care about what Miles said about my weight because I'm comfortable. Um, but on the other hand, I have a problem with him. You have a problem with Miles? Yeah, I have a problem with Miles for sure. And what's that? Uh, I don't know. I just don't think I should be called a man when somebody who is half a man, <laughs> you know, maybe if he goes through puberty, 
he'll be able to see me differently. We'll be right back. <laughs> Up next. Maybe tomorrow night, if we got together and went out, I can sort of secure this for you. I oh, can really? make this. <laughs> I can. And later. Take the shot, Tyra. Take it. Take the shot. Get the shot. Shoot Shoot the camera. Yes. Take it now, Mark. Tyra. Smile with your eyes. So, who was the finalist for Tyra's ultimate hottie? And we just saw you guys acting out and busting on each other, talking such negative things about each other when you didn't know that there were hidden cameras in the room. And that's just the